Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The WWE has never been short on its big men, and today we have got eight of the biggest monsters that the WWE has seen going head to head in a battle royal to see who's the most dominant. These giants aren't looking for titles today, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about the bragging rights. So who's got what it takes to have their hand held high at the end of this one? Let's get down to the ring and we'll find out now. And this one is underway. That is a lot of meat in the ring, ladies and gentlemen. As Homer Simpson once said, look at that flubber fly. All of these men have had really good careers showing how dominant they can be. The only exception maybe is Omos who's just getting started. But he, already he's shown that his size is really counting for something. Got Kevin Nash and The Undertaker going at it up the back there. They've had some classic battles in the past before the Monday Night Wars even happened. You know, I've just realized that there are four of the Bonsai Pack guys in the ring there. Rikishi, Omos, Yokozuna and Umaga. Makes me wonder why Casey Catanzaro was also included in that one. They'd use her more like a toothpick than anything else. I don't know about Bonsai. But that's another story for another day, I guess. Andre the Giant just taking a nap underneath the rope there. You'll never get a battle royal named after you at that rate. Yes, of course, we all know Andre has that battle royal at WrestleMania named after him and well deserved. Always such a dominant force back in the 80s. But Kevin Nash, just a big right fist straight to the face of Andre. Just manhandling. So much carnage in the ring there already. Even Vader after dropping The Undertaker then was slow to get back to his feet. Big right hook. You don't want to be on the end of one of Vader's big punches or having him sit on your chest. That's just a good way to have a shirt full of broken ribs, that's for sure. Always such thunderous punches there from Vader. I really can't stress enough just what a competitor Vader really was. Again, if you haven't seen any of his matches before, go and look them up because he was something else, that's for sure. Just punching away on Andre the Giant, just trying to break his nose there. Undertaker hanging on. Kevin Nash, they aren't able to knock him off. Somehow Taker hangs on. Almost now just stepping on the Undertaker like a doormat. Oh, Nash goes over but somehow comes back in. There's a belly to a bigger belly suplex for Kishi on Yokozuna. The ring definitely had to be reinforced for this one. There's no giving it whatsoever. Not so sure that the concrete underneath can handle it though. This whole arena might sink with this amount of weight in there. Omos just lays out The Undertaker with a big right hook. And then takes Andre down as well for good measure. Taken out going back after Vader. Those two just punching on. Yokozuna's out. Rikishi with the big clothesline just takes Yokozuna straight over that top rope and onto the floor. There was no hanging on for Yokozuna there. Surprised here is the first one out. He would have been my pick to win this one actually. But guess that's not to be. Kevin Nash going after Omos with the big backbreaker there. Lays him out. Elbow straight to the face. And Nash, big power bomb on Omos. How do these guys even get so tall? Makes me so jealous. I didn't get my fair share of it, that's for sure. I'd just be punching kneecaps if I was in there. I'd have no hope whatsoever. Umaga just lays out Rikishi. Big double-headed chokeslam on The Undertaker there. Oh, hang on. No. Andre hangs on somehow. That showed some athleticism. Giving almost a nice massage there. Just, just for trying to eliminate him. Says this ain't going to happen mate. This is what I can do. Don't think he enjoyed that massage too much really. 
Vader just vulnerable on the side there. Almost just throwing Umaga around like he was a child. Umaga though, leg sweep, misses the headbutt. Almost able to roll out of the way. Almost now sending Umaga over, but no, Umaga hangs on and he's back in this one. Vader now looking to take on Umaga and just squashes him into the canvas. That's some big girth right there, my friends. Umaga though, fighting back. Tombstone pile driver up the back there on Omos. Now we've got Vader. Thought he was going for the power bomb, but just offloads Umaga backwards. Landed on that bottom rope. But Umaga is still able to fight back with a big belly to belly. Rikishi though, at the mercy of Andre the Giant. Can Andre push him out? I don't know. Rikishi hanging on for dear life here. How is he doing it? Able to get the shoulder into the midsection there and gets back in the ring. That was an amazing feat of strength there from Rikishi. He looks tiny compared to Andre the Giant right there. And that's saying something. But this time Andre just picks him up and dumps him out like he was nothing. Sorry, Rikishi. Time to go to the back. Kevin Nash just having a nice little nap there under the ropes. Taker sees it. He's not impressed. Goes after Nash. Just a big right hook. Drops him down. Follows it up with the leg drop. Did Vader just fall over all by himself there? Hope he wasn't drinking before this one. That's never a good mix. Pushes Omos away there. And then he just clotheslines Omos straight over the top. Omos is out of this one. Guess that is a little disadvantage about being so tall in a battle royal. Is that you are vulnerable to those clotheslines. That momentum, you just can't stop it once you hit the top rope there. Straight over. Now Vader looking to power bomb Kevin Nash. Giving him a taste of his own medicine, then just clocks him in the back of the head. Andre one more time. He's having a nap under the ropes now. Trying to recover from the beating that he just took. Taker and Umaga. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. There's just there's not a lot of moves and throws. There's a lot of just punching and just overall brawling here. And Undertaker, look at this show of strength. Gets Andre up and drops him with the tombstone. I guess the down's not so hard, but the up wouldn't have been easy. Another straight punch right to the ear of Andre. And then another one. I think that one got him on the cheek. He felt that. And another one. Taker just absolutely belting the life out of Andre the Giant here. And another one. And then one for Vader. Taker's not making any friends here. He's just showing what he can do with those fists. Battle Royals don't really allow you to get too fancy. So Taker's not getting fancy whatsoever. Nash now with that big fist on Umaga. Undertaker trying to get Vader up over that rope there. Got him in the corner. Vader hanging on. Don't know that Taker's going to be able to get him over. Vader just throws the elbow back. Knocks Taker away. But then Taker another right hook. Then drops him down with the inverted DDT. Umaga just watching it all happen. Takes advantage while Taker's back was turned. They've got Andre just dropping the knee down on Kevin Nash's face. Again, look at all these punches. There's going to be some swollen knuckles later on. Nash now just attacks Andre while his back was turned. That's not smart. That's upset the Giant. Big chop. Sends Nash back into the corner. But Taker, he takes advantage while Andre wasn't looking. He's got Nash up. This could be it for Nash. Taker's really got the leverage here and he throws him over. Nash can't hang on this time. Kevin Nash 
heads back to the dressing room. He's not happy about it. Taker with another tombstone pile driver and Andre the Giant. Hasn't Andre taken a beating here today? Vader and Umaga battling it out. Oh, here we go. Undertaker decides to get a little fancy. And here we go. He's going a little old school. Drops Andre again to the canvas. It's a shame that those two never really had the opportunity to face each other in the ring. I'm not sure if there may have been a match towards the back end of Andre's career, but I think they might have just missed each other. How good would it have been, though? Taker, though, clotheslines Umaga straight over the top rope. Comes down to Vader, The Undertaker, and Andre the Giant as Vader just power bombs the hell out of The Undertaker there. Big punch to the face, locks him up, drops him down. Big pump handle slam there on The Undertaker, lays him out. Now Andre just puts the knee into the face of Vader, that rocked him. Tries to drag him to the ropes, but Vader throws the elbows wildly, gets out of that one. Big punch on Andre, but Taker interferes, can't finish the job there. They're just brawling with each other now. It's got Vader in the corner. Tries to get him up. Just, oh, he's finally got that other leg up. Has he got Vader's number? It's getting close, I don't know. Vader's hanging on for dear life. Throws that elbow back just as a Hail Mary. Somehow manages to get back in. Wants to target Andre, but Taker's not done yet. Drops him down with that backdrop. Then Andre, the two-handed choke slam on The Undertaker. He's seeing stars, but no. Blocks the power slam. No, Andre. Back body drop on The Undertaker. Now just putting some pressure on that shoulder. Taker, though, he's too strong for that. He gets up. He throws some punches. Straight to the ribs. Sends Andre into the corner. Tries to pick him up, but Andre with the counter there. Big clubbing blow to the back. And again, just look at the difference between Andre the Giant and The Undertaker. Anyone that can make The Undertaker look small has to be massive. And he's got The Undertaker's number here now. Just throws him over the top like it's nothing. Vader thinks it's over. Andre, though, he's got a message for Vader. Puts Vader in the corner. Vader, though, fights his way out. Grabs Andre by the chin. Punches him in the guts. Andre feels that one, but Andre, almost the same height while he's on his knee there. Locks up the arms and throws Vader over his head. Think of all the punishment that Andre has copped in this match. For him to even still be standing is amazing. Vader looking to get Andre out. He's got one leg up. Can he pick Andre up? Not an easy task. Just ask Hulk Hogan. Andre, though, just drops that elbow down to the top of the head of Vader. Sends Vader over the top. Vader just hangs on, though. But he... No, surely he can't hang on here. Andre, those massive hands, just pushing all of his weight down. Vader, no. He manages... Oh, somehow, Vader... Manages to get back in the ring. That was an amazing feat of strength as well. Andre, though, starts with the bear hug. They just plants Vader down. Squashes him like a bug. Hurls him straight over the top. He's out of here. Andre the Giant. That's why there's a WrestleMania Battle Royal named after him. The big man stands tall. The 8th wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. That's it for this one. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Like and sub, you know the deal. We've got a ton more content still to come here for WWE 2K22. So we'll catch you in the next one.